This is the Music History Today podcast for August 21st. On today's show, Bono gets married, the inventor of the Moog synthesizer passes away, and we go sicko mode with dynamite. First up, though, on this date in 1938, Fats Waller recorded the classic song, Ain't Misbehavin'. In 1961, Patsy Cline recorded the classic song, Crazy, written by a then-unknown Willie Nelson. We discuss more about this particular song and a bunch more stuff on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has dropped on this network by the time you're hearing me speak about it. In 1966, the Beatles held their first concert at Bush Memorial Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. In 1966, same day, Jim Morrison of The Doors showed up late for the band's gig at the Whiskey A Go Go in Los Angeles, California, having been tripping on acid at the time. It was at this concert that Morrison first used the lines, Father, I want to kill you. And Mother, I Want to F You, in the song The End, you can figure out what the F is. The band was let go by Whiskey A Go Go after that, but the ad-libbed lines ended up in the final recorded version of the song The End. And of course, all of that is from Oedipus Rex. Google that if you can't figure that out, kids. In any event, in 1968, the Beatles finished recording the song Sexy Sadie. In 1971, the event that inspired Bob Dylan's song George Jackson happened when prison convict George Jackson was gunned down during a prison escape attempt. In 1976, England's Nebworth Festival took place. Todd Rundgren, 10CC, and the Rolling Stones were among the performers during that festival. Also in 1976, the first punk rock festival in Europe took place, not in England, as you would expect, but in France, in a bullfighting ring. Because, sure, why not? In 1982, Bono got married to his high school sweetheart, Alison Stewart, and they are still married to this very day. In 1987, the movie that kicked off a new nostalgia trend, Dirty Dancing, was released in movie theaters. In 1993, Michael Jackson was strip-searched and his Neverland Ranch was raided after allegations of child molestation were made against him. Also in 1993, lyricist Bernie Taupin married his wife Stephanie Hames. In 1994, John Denver was involved in a single car accident in Aspen, Colorado, exactly one year to the day after he was arrested in Aspen for drunk driving. In 2005, the Rolling Stones started their Bigger Bang Tour. In 2012, Taylor Swift set the then record for the most digital sales by a single by a female artist. Taylor single, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, sold 630,000 digital copies. That record has since been shattered so many times, it's ridiculous. In 2015, the Westboro Baptist Church staged an anti-gay rally at a Foo Fighters concert in Kansas City, Missouri. The church is famous for doing anti-gay rallies in very strange locations like soldiers' funerals. In any event, the Foo Fighters disrupted this particular rally by driving a truck in front of the protesters that kept blasting Rick Astley's classic Never Gonna Give You Up over and over. In other words, the Westboro Baptist Church got Rick rolled. Gotta love it. In 2017, at a solar eclipse event during the solar eclipse for that year, Bonnie Tyler, of course, sang Total Eclipse of the Heart. Also, Ozzy Osbourne was at that event, and he sang Bark at the Moon. Appropriate. And in 2022, Afro Man's home was raided in Ohio by police who were acting on a warrant for drug trafficking and kidnapping evidence. Afro Man wasn't charged with anything, but he ended up using the footage of the raid for his music video, Lemon Pound Cake. In theater in 1944, the musical Song of Norway opened on Broadway. Albums that were released on August 21st include in 1968 when Etta James released Tell Mama. In 1969, The Nice released Nice. 
1970, Golden Earring released their self-titled album. In 1980, Black Rose released their self-titled album. In 1981, Chilliwack released Wanna Be a Star. In 1984, the Psychedelic Furs released Mirror Moves. In 1987, on the same day that the movie was released, the Dirty Dancing soundtrack was also released. Of course, that went on to become a multi-million seller. In 1987, same day, Metallica released the $5.98 EP, Garage Days Re-Revisited. In 1989, Jethro Tull released Rock Island. In 1990, Jane's Addiction released Ritual de lo Habitual. Alice in Chains released Facelift. And Prince released the soundtrack to Graffiti Bridge. In 1995, Palace Music released Viva Las Blues. New Order released the rest of New Order. And Rainbow released Stranger to Us All. In 1997, Oasis released Be Here Now. In 2000, Paul McCartney released Liverpool Sound Collage. In 2001, The Damned released Grave Disorder, and John Waite released Figure in a Landscape. In 2006, Slade released Slade Alive, the live anthology. In 2007, Caribou released Andorra. And in 2012, Leonard Skinner released Last of a Dying Breed. Singles that were released in the UK on August 21st include in 1981 when Rick James released Super Freak. In 1989, the Rolling Stones released Mixed Emotions. In 1995, Michael Jackson released You Are Not Alone. And in 2006, the Rolling Stones released Biggest Mistake. Meanwhile in America, in 1954, Bill Haley and his Comets released Shake, Rattle, and Roll. In 1961, the Dovells released Bristol Stomp, and the Marvelettes released Please, Mr. Postman. In 1969, Diana Ross and the Supremes and the Temptations released The Weight. In 1970, Simon and Garfunkel released El Condor Pasa, and the Carpenters released We've Only Just Begun. In 1978, Paul McCartney and Wings released London Town. In 1980, the Doobie Brothers released Real Love. In 1989, The Cure released Love Song. In 2000, Madonna released Music. In 2008, Metallica released The Day That Never Comes. In 2018, Travis Scott released Sicko Mode. And in 2020, BTS released Dynamite. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 21st include jazz legend Count Basie, entertainer and entrepreneur Kenny Rogers, guitarist Joe Strummer of The Clash, singer Kim Sledge of Sister Sledge, keyboardist Liam Howlett of The Prodigy, Serge Tankian of System of a Down, drummer Steve Smith of Journey, singer Melissa Schumann of Dream, country music singer Casey Musgraves, singer Kelis, Jesse Rutherford of The Neighborhood, Jake Pitts of The Black Veil Brides, rapper Splurge, drummer Budgie of The Slits, and also Susie and the Banshees, Mike Howe of Metal Church, reggae artist Collie Buds, Paris Bennett of American Idol fame, bassist Glenn Hughes of Deep Purple, guitarist Carl Giamaris of The Buckinghams, Tom Coster of Santana, singer Jackie DeShannon, singer Harold Reed of The Statler Brothers, trumpet player Art Farmer, songwriter Hi Zaret, singer Ernie Maresca, guitarist James Burton, who played with Elvis Presley, backup singer Clyde King, Singer Dominique Grant of the group Guys and Dolls. Guitarist Nick Kane of the Mavericks. DJ David Morales. Singer Dina Carroll. Singer Christiane Legrand of the Swingles Sisters rounds out the group. 
Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 21st include composer Jacques Maudiot, who passed away in 1627 at the age of 69. Composer Alessandro Felici passed away in 1772 at the age of 29. Also passing away in 1772 was composer Johann Giellini, who passed away at the age of 48. Composer Silverius Mueller passed away in 1812 at the age of 67. Composer Santiago Ferrer passed away in 1824 at the age of 62. Composer Peter von Lindpaintner passed away in 1856 at the age of 64. Composer Niccolo van Westerhout passed away in 1898 at the age of 40. Composer Frederick Corder passed away in 1932 at the age of 80. Composer Joseph Saikara passed away in 1935 at the age of 76. Composer Paul Jean passed away in 1940 at the age of 68. Composer Gerhard von Kostler passed away in 1949 at the age of 75. Composer Leonard Lambert passed away in 1951 at the age of 45. Composer Stevan Kriskit passed away in 1958 at the age of 73. And if you are under the impression that a lot of composers passed away on this date, yeah, you are not alone. Film composer, speaking of, Walter Schumann passed away in 1958 at the age of 44. Pianist Jan Chiapuso passed away in 1969 at the age of 79. Composer Timothy Spellman passed away in 1970 at the age of 79. Singer Hermann Shee passed away in 1981 at the age of 85. Singer Raoul Sexas passed away in 1989 at the age of 44. Composer Theodore Berger passed away in 1992 at the age of 87. Conductor Anatoly Fistulari passed away in 1995 at the age of 88. Composer and orchestra leader Juan Zorzi passed away from cancer in 1999 at the age of 63. Punk rock singer Wesley Willis of the Wesley Willis Fiasco passed away in 2003 at the age of 40. The inventor of the Moog synthesizer, Robert Moog, passed away in 2005 at the age of 71. Opera singer Martin Dillon passed away from heart issues in 2005 at the age of 48. Record producer Jerry Finn passed away in 2008 at the age of 39. Country music drummer Buddy Harmon passed away in 2008 at the age of 79. Johnny Carter of the Flamingos and also the group The Dells passed away in 2009 at the age of 75. Dean Turner of Magic Dirt passed away in 2009 at the age of 37. Pianist Jeffrey Tozer passed away in 2009 at the age of 54. Music producer Sid Bernstein passed away in 2013 at the age of 95. Rapper Swipey was shot and killed in 2016 at the age of 18. Guitarist Brian Lee passed away in 2020 at the age of 77. The legendary Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Don Everly of the Everly Brothers passed away in 2021 at the age of 84. And jazz guitarist Monet Sudler passed away in 2022 at the age of 70. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 22nd, when in 1995, singer Dua Lipa was born. <laughs> 